Hello, fifth graders of Connecticut. My name is Mr. Cofrancesco, and I am the director of Kid Governor at the Connecticut Democracy Center. I'm coming to you from the Kid Governor's office at the historic Connecticut's Old State House in Hartford. We are thrilled to have so many students from across the state tuning in for this student choice, student voice election rally as you prepare to cast your votes in the statewide election. This year, 2023 Kid Governor Ellie Mendez has worked from this governor's office to spread awareness and take action on her Express and Address Your Feelings platform. She was elected by fifth graders just like you last fall to make a difference in our state. Now, it is your turn to use your voice and make a choice for the student who you think should succeed Ellie. You and thousands of other fifth graders will cast votes to elect the 2024 Connecticut's Kid Governor. There are seven candidates on this year's statewide election ballot. Each candidate has identified an issue or problem they noticed in our state, researched that issue, developed an action plan for how fifth graders can make a difference, and created a campaign video explaining their platform. The seven candidates on the ballot are Alexa, who is running on a platform about mental and physical well being? Claire, who is running on a platform about hobbies that bring happiness? Cristiano, who is running on a platform addressing physical activity? Donna, who is running on a platform focused on stopping littering? Ella, who is running on a platform that addresses bullying? Max, who is running on a platform about internet safety? And Paula, who is running on a platform about celebrating diversity and inclusion. During this election rally, you will hear directly from all seven candidates as we watch their campaign videos together. This will prepare you to make an informed decision and cast your ballot in the statewide election. As you watch each candidate's video, it's important to ask yourself the following questions. Does the candidate want to make a difference on their chosen community issue? Is the candidate's platform well-researched? Did the candidate convince me, and can they convince others, that this issue is important? Is the candidate's three-point platform realistic? Did the candidate choose an issue that impacts all communities in our state? Does the candidate have the leadership qualities needed to be kid governor? And would the candidate represent all Connecticut fifth graders well? Your teacher will give you an analyzing campaign videos packet from your voting kit with evaluation forms containing these questions. The forms look like this and will help you think critically about each candidate's platform. After watching each campaign video, I will give you two minutes to fill out a new form about that candidate. When completing a form, think carefully about each statement and decide on a scale of one to five how much you agree with it. At the end, total your points in the last box. You will then answer a few reflection questions at the end of your packet to help you decide who you will vote for in the statewide election. We are going to have a lot of fun watching these campaign videos during this election rally. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, we have Alexa's campaign video on mental and physical well-being. Hello, my name is Alexa and I want to be your next kid governor. Did you know that the CDC recommends 60 minutes of physical activity a day? Or that the mental health of children and adolescents ages 6 to 18 who exercise have lower levels of depression, stress, and psychological distress? They also have a higher level of positive self-image and psychological well-being. Children ages 6 to 12 are better able to pay attention after they've been physically active and kids who are regularly active have better educational and academic performance. That is why my focus as your good governor would be the mental and physical well-being. I plan to implement three things. One, weekly health hits, which is when children would learn about healthy facts and healthy things, ways to take care of their body, such as healthy foods to eat and healthy ways to work out at home with, no, with nothing else that they need. Two, in school, you would do Mental Mondays and Wellness Wednesdays, but also on my website, I would provide no cost 15 minute videos that anyone can do at home with your families that are family friendly. Did you know that 29% of kids in CT are overweight and that's the tw in ages five to 17, that's the 22nd worst in the country. In ages eight 
and and 8.9% suffer from asthma, with 46 getting hospitalized. And my third thing would be suitable snacks, which will be a, a healthy food basket for kids that don't have snacks in schools, which will be a healthy way to re-energize and refuel your body. I am honest, respectful, kind, and trustworthy, which is why you should vote for me, Alexa A. The A plus one to get your job done for kid governor. Now that you have seen Alexa's video, find the first evaluation form in your Analyzing Campaign Videos packet. Write Alexa's name and her platform of mental and physical well-being at the top. You now have two minutes to reflect on Alexa's campaign video and to fill in your evaluation form. Next, we have Claire's campaign video about hobbies that bring happiness. My name is Claire, one of the Your Next Kid Governor. As your kid governor, I want to help students find their happiness in and out of school. Did you know, according to learningliftoff.com, a happy child is more likely to be motivated in and out of school? Uh, do you want to be happier and more motivated? All you have to do is vote for me. As your kid governor, I promise I will be patient, I will listen, and I will try my hardest to help you find your happy. My goal is to help students find their happiness. I am 10 years old and have been dancing since I was three. I love to run and to play basketball and lacrosse. These are some things that bring me happiness. I want to make sure every school provides things that make kids happy. At my school, we are fortunate to have amazing specials, such as PE, art, music, and much more. Our school has done a good job at providing options outside of the classroom to help students find their happiness. You might think that this community problem is not important, but it is. Not knowing what you like or what makes you happy can be an issue. For example, when I'm dancing or playing a sport, I feel great. But when I go a long time without these things, I can start to feel stressed and easily distracted from my responsibilities. It's very important for children of all ages to find their happiness, and I think schools can play a big role in that. But how? Well, my platform has a few amazing plans of action. My first plan is called Find a Hobby Friday. At the end of each week, one or two students will share about a favorite hobby that they, about a favorite hobby. Like if someone shared about playing chess, they could demonstrate how and someone else could figure out that they really like chess. My second plan is called a try and see survey. A few times a year, students can take an interest survey that lists lots of activities that they may want to try. Students will then check off what activities they have interest in. Then, school staff, like the principal, will look at the surveys and will see if there are any, 
if there are activities that lots of students want to try. Let's say lots of kids want to try hip-hop dancing. Then the school could reach out to a local dance studio and have someone from that studio come in and demonstrate hip-hop dancing. This is good for both the students and the business. My third and final amazing plan is a hobby fair put on by the school once or twice a year. At this hobby fair, kids will think about a hobby that they enjoy and put together a presentation or maybe a display about it. Students, staff, and family members can, can walk around and look at the different displays and see if there's anything they may want to try. You might think, oh, I've already found my happiness in what I like. Well, I encourage you to try something new. That's part of the reason why I think I should be your kid, next kid governor. I am encouraging, and I am confident that with your help, we can make schools and Connecticut better places to be. Now that you have seen Claire's video, find the next evaluation form in your Analyzing Campaign Videos packet. Write Claire's name and her platform of Hobbies That Bring Happiness at the top. You now have two minutes to reflect on Claire's campaign video and to fill in your evaluation form. Next, we have Cristiano's campaign video focused on physical activity. According to the World Health Organization, 3.2 million people die every year from not being fit enough. Fifth graders of Connecticut, I am Cristiano, and I want to be your next kid governor. I feel really passionate about this issue because I play soccer and increasing my physical activity through this sport has helped me to be healthier, and I want you to be healthier too. My issue is that both adults and children are suffering from not having enough physical activity. As you get older, very bad things can happen to your body when you're not fit, such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. If you are fit enough, good things can happen, like you can live longer. Also, exercise can improve your focus, concentration, and memory, and can even make you happier. I think we can all agree that we want this in our lives. For this campaign, I'm going to ask for your help, fifth graders, in working with me to do three amazing activities to make Connecticut a healthier place. The first step is to create a FitCoin Hall of Fame. It's a paper coin with FitCoin on the front and each school's mascot on the back. You have to earn it. This is where everyone in Connecticut can get fit for fun. Every time your gym teacher thinks you've put in some good exercise in PE, 
or a teacher sees you being active in a good way during recess, he or she will give you a fit coin. If you get a certain number of fit coins, your names and class picture will be added to the Fit Coin Hall of Fame. My second step is to create a YouTube channel called Fit for Fun Kids. It will have videos on fitness, including like activities like stretching, running, and strength. I will also invite people who know a lot about fitness, such as doctors, athletes, and phys ed teachers, to come into the channel. You will be able to help make the success by sharing videos starring you being fit by exercising, playing a sport, or just being active in any way. As a community, we will work together to make Fit for Fun Kids a positive place for kids to be healthy. My third step is a statewide poster contest that will include your best fitness tip. I will invite members of sports teams here in our state to determine the contest winners. You might be wondering, why should you vote for me as kid governor? Cristiano is funny and likes to make kind jokes. Cristiano thinks outside of the box. He's trustworthy because if you give him a paper that's due, he will deliver it on the first day. Cristiano is respectful because if you ever need help, he will always be on deck to help you. I will be a great kid governor because if you vote for me, I will promise to never give up making this state a fitter place. Now that you have seen Cristiano's video, find the next evaluation form in your Analyzing Campaign Videos packet. Write Cristiano's name and his platform of physical activity at the top. You now have two minutes to reflect on Cristiano's campaign video and to fill in your evaluation form. Next, we have Donna's campaign video focused on stopping littering. Hi, fifth graders of Connecticut. My name is Donna, and I want to be your next state governor. My platform aims to address the littering issue in the state, and we, the fifth grade residents, need to address it immediately. Did you know that about 40% of the ocean is covered in litter? And 90% of that 40% is plastic? Billions of plastic enters the ocean every day, impacting our little friends, such as turtles, dolphins, whales, and many other sea creatures. My action plan has three amazing ways we can all help reduce litter in Connecticut. My first idea is to organize Trash Wrap Day in Connecticut, in which public schools can come together and clean their local parks, streets, and beaches. We can organize a day where fifth grade students all across Connecticut can participate in cleaning the streets at the same time. 
When people litter things like soda cans and plastics, animals can get trapped, harmed, or die. When those animals die, other animals don't have food, so they die too, and then it becomes a cycle that affects the food chain. My second idea is to host a video series to teach kids and adults how to recycle and compost correctly. interview community leaders and spread awareness on the harmful effects of littering in our state. Lastly, I'll create a blog where we can come together and share community issues about littering and ways we can take action now. We can use this blog as a gateway to involve our community leaders to help us bring public awareness and prevent litter. How will I be able to accomplish this as your next state governor? I am hardworking, outspoken, loyal, trustworthy, and reliable. I promise if you vote for me to be your next kid governor, I will do the best I can to help the littering problem. And I will help Connecticut stay beautiful. Now that you have seen Donna's video, find the next evaluation form in your Analyzing Campaign Videos packet. Write Donna's name and her platform of littering at the top. You now have two minutes to reflect on Donna's campaign video and to fill in your evaluation form. Next, we have Ella's campaign video addressing bullying. Hello, I'm Ella, and I'm running for Kid Governor. Some of my leadership qualities are, I am accepted because no matter how different someone is, I won't be mean to them because of it. I'm kind because I am nice to people, no matter race, religion, or differences. I am also persevering because I will not stop till the job is done. I would like to introduce my three-point plan. One, I would like to have an Encourage Allies Week where I go to schools and teach kids how to be allies and what to do if you're being bullied or if you see someone being bullied. Two, make a friend project, where you go to schools, share things about you, and make new friends there. Three, anti-bullying club, where you gather a group of people and have them think of more ideas to help stop bullying. Vote for Ella if you want these things to happen. Did you know that 33% of kids in elementary school get bullied? 
Cyberbullying is a type of bullying that happens online through text messages or social media. Bullying can lead to mental health issues and that can lead to depression, sadness, bad behavior, and more. Kids who are bullied have a hard time standing up for themselves. I need your help because I can't do this on my own. This all depends on your vote. Do you want students to keep getting bullied or do you want it to improve? Improve! It can if you vote for me. Vote for Ella for Kid Governor. Now that you have seen Ella's video, find the next evaluation form in your Analyzing Campaign Videos packet. Write Ella's name and her platform of bullying at the top. You now have two minutes to reflect on Ella's campaign video and to fill in your evaluation form. We're almost at the end. Next up, we have Max's campaign video about internet safety. Hi, I'm Max. I'm a regular fifth grader just like you, and I want to be Connecticut's kid governor. I'm running for kid governor, not just for clout, not for attention, but because I want to make a change in Connecticut. Would you give a stranger a home address and be bullied by an online stranger? I love our state, but it has too many online safety hazards. If we follow these steps, I think we can make a change in internet safety here in Connecticut. According to the FBI Internet Crime Center report, in the past three years, there have already been 8,000 child victims of cybercrime. That is not okay with me, and I want to do something about it. Here's my plan. My first step to keeping kids safe online is to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting every month with an SEL teacher or social emotional learning teacher. This teacher or expert will have discussions about issues like being cyberbullied or what type of online friendships you have. We will, you will get advice from a trusted adult on how to handle these situations. You will also have a trusted adult to talk to you if you find yourself in an unsafe situation. My second step is to create a kid-friendly website where families could go to learn about how to keep kids safe online. This will be a resource that includes tips on how to report bullying or how to block accounts and things to look for such as information to be careful about sharing to people on gaming platforms or apps. This step 
supports the Kids Online Safety Act of 2022, drafted by Senator Richard Blumenthal. The goal of Kids Online Safety Act is the same as mine, to empower kids and parents to take control over kids. Online, online experiences to be a better product of their health and well-being. My last step to improve internet safety in our state is I'm going to work with the local Connecticut police departments to talk about how kids can prevent cyber crimes from happening to them. Teachers and our police departments can work together. Kids need to know how to be smart about choosing websites, games, and apps on how to stop online predators and hackers from getting your personal information. We can get this information out to parents to help kids be safe on the, at home too. Internet safety is a super important issue that I think kids should know more about. I really think my plan would make a difference. Thanks for listening to me. I hope you have a spectacular day. Sincerely from one of your Kid Governor candidates. Now that you have seen Max's video, find the next evaluation form in your Analyzing Campaign Videos packet. Write Max's name and his platform of internet safety at the top. You now have two minutes to reflect on Max's campaign video and to fill in your evaluation form. Finally, we have Paula's campaign video on celebrating diversity and inclusion. Hi, I'm Paula and I want to be your next kid governor. My platform is celebrating diversity and inclusion. I chose this platform because I want everyone to feel included and special no matter what their differences are. What is diversity? It is the difference or differences between two or more things. For example, in people such as race, skin color, religion, or disabilities. Inclusion is simple. It is the act of including someone into a group and making them feel welcome. Imagine if you had a box of crayons and they're all the same color. It would be so boring, right? Todo sería bien aburrido. Why is this important? The state of Connecticut is only 56% diverse. This is one of the reasons why students need to embrace who they are. Also, so many students struggle with being excluded because of their backgrounds, culture, or beliefs. Recent studies have shown the percentage of diverse students has only grown by 10% over the last decade. Students work, communicate, and concentrate better in a diverse environment. Finally, students will push themselves to work harder if they are surrounded by people from a diverse environment. 
My platform has three ways that we can improve how we treat others and help celebrate diversity and inclusion. The first part of my action plan is to create posters to help celebrate and create awareness about diversity and inclusion. We can educate CT's fifth graders with five minute TED Talks during morning meetings or fifth grade assemblies. Also, we can celebrate the diverse groups during morning announcements, such as Black History Month and Hispanic Heritage Month. My third way that we can do this is that we can create an interactive welcoming classroom for CT kids to learn about everyone's culture and languages. How will I get there as your leader? I'm disciplined, passionate, respectful, I stand up for what I believe in, and I'm honest. Vamos a celebrar nuestras diferencias para seguir enriqueciendo nuestro mundo. Now that you have seen Paula's video, find the last evaluation form in your Analyzing Campaign Videos packet. Write Paula's name and her platform of diversity and inclusion at the top. You now have two minutes to reflect on Paula's campaign video and to fill in your evaluation form. Congratulations! You have watched and analyzed all seven campaign videos. You are now an informed voter in the Connecticut's Kid Governor statewide election. Now that you have watched the campaign videos, it is important to take just a few minutes to reflect on the candidates' platforms while they're fresh on your mind. Which candidate had the highest score? Whose community issue do you care about the most and why? Whose three points are the most realistic for you to do in your own community? and which candidate's platform will make the biggest difference in Connecticut? You will find these questions on the last page of your Analyzing Campaign Videos packet. At this time, take two more minutes to reflect on the campaign videos and to answer these questions.
I hope the rubrics and reflection questions have helped you decide which candidate you want to support, because the next step in the election process is casting your vote. Voting is an important civic responsibility and one that you should take seriously. This is a real election with real consequences. The student who wins this election will serve as your kid governor for a full year. Think carefully about the student you want to elect because your vote matters. Your teacher will give you specific instructions on how your class is voting. Thousands of fifth graders will be voting in the kid governor statewide election November 6th through November 14th. After the election, we will announce which student has won and will serve as the 2024 Connecticut's kid governor. The six runners up will serve as the kid governor's cabinet. The kid governor program does not end after the election. The 2024 kid governor and cabinet will take office at inauguration day in January, which you can watch in your classroom live from Connecticut's old state house. The kid governor and cabinet will then need your help to complete their platforms. Ask your teacher for updates throughout the school year about how you and your class can support the kid governor and cabinet members platforms and make a difference in your own community. And be sure to follow the kid governor's blog where you can hear directly from these student leaders. That concludes today's student choice, student voice election rally. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you know which candidate you will vote for and are excited to make your voice heard. We'll be back later this month with the announcement of the winning candidate. Until then, I'm Mr. Co-Francesco from the Connecticut Democracy Center and residents here at Connecticut's Old State House. Thank you for watching and have fun voting.